Hey everybody, welcome to Camping with Steve. I'm hiking out to a driftwood shelter where I'm going to stay there for the night. Almost a cabin by the looks of things, if I can find it. So, you've seen the thumbnail, let's go. There was a bit of the boring part of the hike, but uh, I can hear the ocean now, so I'm getting close. Okay, this is amazing. Huh, looks like somebody just left, or they're out here. Oh, there's people out there with their dogs. All right. There was a couple ladies out here walking their dogs, and they had a fire started. They were kind of hanging out here, uh, but they were just on their way out, so perfect timing. Let's check this place out. This place is incredible. Um, reminds me of the one I found uh, last summer. Uh, just a cabin people can kind of come and use. What makes this more remarkable is that was a bit of a hike and it was a long drive to get here. And all this stuff got brought in piece at a time. <laughs> like there's glass and everything. So it's either washed up on the beach, was built on site. Uh, but you know, there's a door there, a beautiful door. Let's uh, do the grand tour. There's, there's some pantry items here, can opener, propane, looks like a rat and mouse killer. There's uh, some cleaning supplies up there, a uh, tub of Vaseline, guitar there, missing a string. Um, these lights, I wonder if they turn on with a battery or something. It's a wood shed in there, um, keeps it nice and dry. Guaranteed all these washed up on the beach and they've just been hung in the trees. Carving there. Little pots and pan dish washing area. Uh, there's some empties there. Up here. Aha! Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah. Talking about an outhouse with a view. Obviously the tide comes up quite far here, so at high tide uh, I wouldn't want to come down to this spot. There's little tidal pools all over here. A lot of the driftwood can be really wet, so you got to stay on top of these beach fires or they'll go out on you like this. Heavy, heavy, heavy. It's not going to burn, I know it already. Uh, the good stuff is the real sun-baked stuff that's higher up, that's been out of the water for a while. but. That's okay, there's dry stuff we'll burn in the shack a little later. Soaking wet. This is where they've been assembling all the stuff likely that washes up here. And there's plenty. Uh, it's bad enough in the woods, but middle of nowhere, uh, it, this is really remote. And stuff like this washes up all over the world. You know, an old old cooler or refrigerator there anything that floats Got some shoes there but see if I can't find a few things to pick out that have washed up on shore actually this bag here I'll drag it a little closer away from the high tide
Not the spot for me with my shellfish allergy, I'll say that. Hey, found one. There's a trail right over there, and it looks like it's unaccessible during high tide. So before the tide comes back in, I'm going to see what I can see over there. This is really nice. I can see why they built the shack over there, because it's beautiful here as well, but the, the water comes up, the tide comes up too easily here. I said I'd drive until somewhere felt like home. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it's for sale. The end of another beautiful day on this world. Step one is done, so step two with you. Cheers, everybody. It was low tide when I got here, pretty much right at the lowest, and the high tide's gonna be at 8 p.m. tonight. And it'll be dark by then, but I've got flashlights. It'll be interesting to see how much closer it comes up. I can already hear those waves pounding these rocks, like the base almost echoes in your chest. It's phenomenal to see that power. These waves are terrifyingly beautiful. I'll be going to the cabin shortly here, get the fire going in there. It's starting to cool off. It's cooled off quite a bit. Uh, 41 Fahrenheit, five degrees Celsius. So basically refrigerator temperature. And I gotta start the fire. It's actually fairly warm in here, much warmer than outside. Yeah, we should be set. People around here start fires my style, I can see. it up but it'll do There's candles. Time for a meal for one. And I found a meal prep kit. I'm not gonna promote the brand because it's just a random meal kit I haven't tried yet. But there's noodles, veggies, chicken sauce. It's a uh, teriyaki chicken noodle bowl kit. And that definitely saves me from buying a package of two chicken breasts. Anyways. Let's uh, cook this up. Nothing exploded. Good start. Veggies. Here's my little meal for one by the ocean. Took really good. Mm. 
let's just explore the amenities of this property. Tucked in the corner by the chickpeas, dishes, a lighter, there's actually a cigarette out here for an emergency for people. And looks like some uh, vermouth. It's good to have. Of course we had our lighter, etc. Yeah. Windex. Empty bag of red meat dog food. But there are things in here. Uh, yeah, it looks like a mouse has definitely been in here. But there's a lot more, a lot more uh, cooking equipment and um, rags, etc. That uh, mice have been on. Fire extinguisher. Put that somewhere. It should be. Rat and mouse killer, not working. Oh, here we are. Have we found a treat tonight? Oh, ho, ho, ho. we're missing a string. We're missing tuning pegs on the end there. That's uh, not going to work without a screwdriver or something unless I can. Oh boy. Oh wow. Well. I was really hopeful when I saw that, but unfortunately, this is not going to happen. I'm still picking away at the rest of my dinner. However, there's books, books, books. Secret garden, um, playing cards galore. I think we might have a guest book here, and we do! Guest book time, if I can find a pen. As recently as November 2023, people have been here. Up here, Bushnell. I think I know what's in E. Written right on it, um, just for you, compliments of Carol. That was my mom's name. Um, please store in case. Mm -hmm. Probably better in the daytime. Oh, these people were just here um, on December. Mackenzie, Allison, and Harvey uh, just a few days ago. Um, wow. Oh, yeah. Mice danced around our toes. <laughs> you getting ready for that? Okay. Okay, so here we are. What more can I say? Um, I'm here with Beautiful Wife and Spirit, and I have checked in to the place for the night. Little scraps left to eat. I'm gonna do that so the mouse doesn't. Now, I don't know for sure, but I'm sure this table goes down. One of those like RV things, and there's another one on the floor. Now, this structure. Rusted in there, good. Uh -huh. I have got the feeling this will do this. <laughs> yeah, that's sturdy. Sounds really sturdy. <laughs> I think this will work. I just don't want to be stuck up here with a mouse and uh, a ladder in my way. So uh, I'll take this. Oh. 
good. It actually doesn't look, oh yeah, that looks pretty bad. Nice and warm tonight. I brought a small sleeping bag because that's all we really need tonight. Um, actually, if I could open the window, I would. And yes, this one is not like the last one that got stored too long. Uh, I have heard all the stuff about throating the dryer with a bunch of uh, tennis balls on no heat but as I've been traveling uh, out on the coast coming across a dryer that I can throw tennis balls in would be like a laundromat or a hotel and they don't take kindly when you dump in a crusty old sleeping bag with a bunch of tennis balls they're gonna hear that guaranteed uh, so um, I'll do that at my leisure and I'm I'm gonna make it happen, but no, this is gonna work for the freaking night. Yeah. But it's locked. People uh, have made <laughs> a Ouija board. Doesn't get any better than this. Uh, I do have to give a shout out to Kyle and Alana with Way of the Roads on YouTube. They let me know about this place, and that's why we're all here. And so, um, it's been a great evening. Probably time to hunker down, because I want to see some beautiful morning surf. And thanks guys for watching. Let's hunker down. We'll see you in the morning, um, as long as there's no tsunami tonight. Cheers. Well, well, if it isn't morning time, get this show going. the firewood here from the wood pile outside I'll split it up too my sinuses would really thank me if I stopped camping in places like this but what fun is that There's a bunch of stickers on the window, so I don't feel too bad about adding to the collection. Just subtle and in the corner, and not preventing the window from doing its job. So, leave one more here for another traveler coming by. Everything looks spiffy in here, uh, like I was never even here, other than the sticker. And if I came back again, the only thing I'd do different 
I would bring a new guitar for the place. I didn't have the best sleep last night because this is tsunami earthquake zone big time here and there's no cell service so there's no early warning that there's an earthquake or a tsunami coming and they do have that system they're they're just implementing here uh, but there's no sirens out on the beach nothing like that uh, the more populated centers have those out here uh-uh uh, it is i'm pretty much done for if something starts coming and if there was shaking yeah i'd run up the hill for sure like so fast uh, but if there's an earthquake in somewhere else that comes across the ocean you know those can take eight ten hours like something from alaska or from uh, way across the ocean comes yeah uh it would just come rolling in and uh if i was asleep that would be the last thing that happened so anyway uh just a quick walk around outside and to say goodbye to this beautiful little place this nail does or if it helps with anything or uh -huh -huh. okay nice and secure keep the uh, wild animals out of there okay just in the nick of time it's starting to rain I am out of here and uh, it's gonna be a bit of a hike don't want to get saturated and I want to pack the camera up so I'm not walking with the camera through the bush but thanks guys for following along on this adventure and this journey thanks for enjoying this scenery this view with me because a beautiful place like this is no good if you can't share it with somebody, right? So, shared it with all you guys. Uh, cheers, everyone, and we'll see you next week.